So to make a not particularly long story even shorter, I was recently told that I will never understand photography and need to find something that I'm actually passionate about. I was told that the fact that I don't even shoot with a full frame camera is testament to my ignorance. This person was obviously a sad troll, but it did get me thinking and my thinking got me thinking more and the result of said thinking is I have an opinion to share yet again. And I'd like to mix that opinion with a bunch of other concepts to make it a little statement piece, if you will. So I'm gonna list some statements to help me mold out what it is that I'm trying to verbalize. One, I shoot micro four thirds. Two, I still don't know everything that there is to know about my current camera. Three, my photos and videos are okay. A lot of it comes down to personal taste and artistic tendencies. So they will always be bad for some people and that's okay. Four, everything I put out there as my work, as my art, there will always be room for improvement and that's also okay. Five, I can't wait to eventually shoot with a full frame camera. And six, if I wanted to, I could go out and get myself a full frame camera now, but I'm choosing not to. And with that list out of the way, I have the following to say. If you check out my photos and feel that they suck, I can confidently and with certainty tell you that my photos don't suck because I shoot micro four thirds. My photos suck because I messed up my composition choices. I have neglected or didn't have respect or appreciation for the lighting around me, whether it be natural or studio lighting. I didn't expose correctly. I didn't understand what my tool was capable of and I didn't understand what my tool was not capable of. And that's why my photos suck. I messed up not my camera. And we have some tasty options that have come about in the past couple of weeks in terms of new releases. But in my opinion, it really just comes down to one tasty option in terms of new camera releases and that Sony is a tasty temptation. So between the R5 and the A7S III or even the S1H, which one am I going for? I'm going for none of them at this point in time. I still have so much to learn from this dude here, my micro four thirds camera. It would be a disservice to myself to just upgrade in the hopes of being a better creator. Once I feel that there isn't much more I can do with this to bring things up a level, that's when I'll invest in a new camera. And as I'm spitting this out, I think I may just challenge myself right here to get to that point within the next year. I wanna feel like I deserve the upgrade. Like there's nothing more I can do, you know, to elevate the quality of what I'm achieving with this camera. The only feature that I might not test out is the anamorphic setting because anamorphic lenses are expensive and I'm not sure I'll allow myself that opportunity, at least not at any point soon in time. This is not a preach piece, just a conversation, a one-way conversation between me and you. So if you feel you have anything to add to the conversation, feel free to add it down below. And, and maybe I'll end off with a tiny challenge to any of you who might be considering an upgrade before you take that plunge find something in your camera menu that you don't fully understand or that you've underutilized and become an expert in that and any other features that you might not have yet fully grasped before you move on to the next camera or don't it's totally up to you